Hey everyone, welcome back to Curious Bites. No matter how well you are understanding a subject or a topic, if you do not take proper notes, you will forget it in some weeks. So it is important to maintain notes of what you have understood according to your interpretation. Another thing is many of us may take notes in class. Whatever is taught, we note it down and we call it running notes or long notes. While making these notes, we are not using our brain or we are not writing according to our interpretation. So when we come back and go through these notes, we might not get the full picture. Also, coming back to these notes, revising from these long notes or running notes is time consuming. And so we won't be able to revise frequently, which is required for gate exam. So in this video, we'll cover how to make your short notes, which could be handy while revising. Let's go through some of the things which you should keep in mind while preparing short notes. First, short notes should include concepts, formulas, points to remember, but it should not include examples, illustrations or explanations. Now, you might think that only reading a line of concept might not make it clear, might not make you recall what was the entire concept without an example or without an explanation. So in your short notes, you can point back to the page number where there is an explanation for that topic or point back to the video which you could refer for an explanation. You might think what is the difference between going through the entire long notes for revision or going through the short notes and then pointing back to the long notes for explanation. The difference is in the first or second iteration of revision, you might need to go back to the full explanation at points when you are not able to understand the entire explanation from the point of concept. But as you revise frequently in the next iterations, you will not require to go through the entire explanation. You will read the line that refer to page number this and this and the entire explanation will itself come in your brain. That's the power of frequent revision. And so as the iterations go by, the speed of revision will increase and the time required to revise each subject will go down. Point number two is use two different pens, blue and black, and along with that, a third pen, which could be a highlighter or a red pen for making notes. Now you can use the blue pen for writing the concepts, the black pen for headings, and you can use the red pen or a highlighter to highlight important formulas, important points or things which you are forgetting again and again. This will further increase the speed of your revision. The third point is write concisely. Do not write in paragraphs, but prefer to write in points. Try to write in flowcharts, equations, expressions in short terms and diagrammatically. Like you can keep short forms for words. Like for example, you can write EG. Important, you can write IMP and things like that. For increasing, you can use the increasing symbol, which is an arrow up. Avoid writing paragraphs for things which can be written diagrammatically and so on. Point number four is make short notes according to your interpretation. Making short notes is not just about copying from the long notes the important points. It's about understanding it and writing it in your own words, in words in which you understood it. Do not use someone else's short notes. It is not going to help you at all. This is one of the major reason why I do not share my short notes with anyone. A lot of people keep asking me to share my notes and, uh, and that could be really helpful for them. It is not going to be helpful at all. It will cause more negative effect than positive effect. And that's why I refrain from sharing. It's not that there's some secrets written in my short notes. Point number five is when to prepare short notes. So there could be two strategies which you could follow. One is let's say you went through a lecture the entire day. After you have completed the lecture, you note down the important points from the lecture and make short notes on daily basis. The second approach could be once an entire subject is done, you go through the entire subject notes and make short notes according to your interpretation. Both these strategies are equally beneficial, but it depends on you what suits you better. Like let's say 
if you sit to make short notes at the end of the subject and you're not able to recall your interpretation, your understanding, then you should prefer the first strategy that is making short notes on the daily basis. But if you can recall and you can understand the picture better when you are studying the entire subject, then you could prefer to make short notes at the end of a subject. Point number six is you could call a subject to be done only when you are done with the short notes of that subject itself. And once a subject is completed, you should revise only from the short notes and not from the long notes or running notes. Only when there's a point which is not clear from the short notes or there's a question you're not able to solve which has an explanation in your long notes at that point only you should refer to long notes otherwise stick to short notes for all revisions your long notes are for reference like a dictionary and your short notes is the main content you are reading the main content and there's something you're not able to understand then like in dictionary we try to find the meaning of a word we are not able to understand that way you have to use your long notes as a dictionary for reference point number seven is when to revise from these short notes and how frequently to revise so every day you should keep a fixed slot for revision let's say each day you are able to afford two hours of revision then in one hour you could revise the current subject which is going on what was taught the previous day and the current day for that subject and you could solve some questions for that subject in the second hour of revision you could revise a previous subject which was done already from the short notes which you prepared for that subject revising from short notes could start from taking three full days for revision for a subject but as you go through various iterations of revision it will come down to three hours per subject and even further when you make some memory sheets which you'll do as last part of your revision it come down to 30 minutes per subject so you can skim through all the subjects in one day before going to the exam so that is it for today make short notes from your interpretation do not try to get them from someone else or some other resource only your short notes will help you and it is not very difficult to prepare them you can just go through the video at 2x again and prepare your short notes or you can refer to your long notes to prepare them please make sure to write everything according to your interpretation if there are any other queries you need help with, please put them down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe for more tips and tricks on cracking the gate exam. Until next time, stay curious and keep progressing.